Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about bitwise ones complement operator. So the bitwise ones complement operator is a unary operator and it is denoted using a tilde. And what it does is inversion, that is it will invert the binary bits. See if the bit is 1, it will convert it into 0 and if the bit is 0, it will convert it into 1. For example, let us find the bitwise ones complement of decimal 4. First of all, let us write the 8-bit binary representation of decimal 4. It is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now, what will be its bitwise ones complement? To obtain that, we will take each bit and invert it. So take first bit, it is 0, so it will become 1. Next take 0, invert it and we will get 1 again. Next is 1, it will become 0. And next is 0, it will become 1. And similarly, all the remaining zeros will become 1. And we got 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, which corresponds to the decimal minus 5. So the bitwise ones complement of 4 is minus 5. Now let us see a sample program which prints the bitwise ones complement of 4. So we have the main function and we are declaring the integer var and initializing it with 4. Now we print value equal to percentage %t tilt var that is bitwise ones complement of var. So we will get output value equal to minus 5 and finally the program returns 0. Now how is complement 4 equal to minus 5? To understand that, let us understand how minus 5 is represented in the memory. The number 5 is represented like this 0000010101 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. and negative numbers will be stored in the memory using 2's complement form. And how do we find 2's complement form of a number? First find the 1's complement of the number and then add 1 to it. So to find 2's complement of minus 5, Find 1's complement of 5 and then add 1. So in 1's complement, we just invert each bit. So 1 becomes 0, 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, 0 becomes 1 and similarly all the zeros becomes 1. And now we need to add 1 to it. So we get 0 plus 1 equal to 1 and then 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now if we closely look, the representation of minus 5 is as same as complement of 4. Hence, the value of complement 4 is equal to minus 5. Now, let us see another example. We have minus 6. For 6, the 8-bit binary representation is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, what is its complement? Just toggle the bits and we get 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1 and again 0 to 1. So, we got 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now if you see this is equivalent to 8-bit binary representation of minus 7. Now take 2. The corresponding binary is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And the complement is 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, 0 becomes 1 and similarly we get all remaining bits as 1. So we got 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 which is equivalent to minus 3. So if we observe the previous results, the complement of 6 is equal to minus 7 which is minus of 6 plus 1 and the complement of 2 is equal to minus 3 which is minus of 2 plus 1. So we can say in general the bitwise ones complement of n is equal to minus of n plus 1. So that's all and thank you for watching this video.